This is Minneapolis. I lived in or near the city from the time I was born until I was 21. Growing up, going into downtown was always a special occasion. As I got older, going into downtown still brought a certain level of excitement, even when there were different reasons for going. When I was in college, I joined an outreach group that went downtown on Saturday nights. We would park across the river because it was free, walk the six or so blocks to where we were going, spend a couple hours in the city, and then walk back to our cars. This round trip took us across the Hennepin Avenue Bridge twice every Saturday night. After a couple of weeks, I began to look more closely at the bridge, and I began to suspect that the design was not all that it seemed to be. It looked like a suspension bridge on its face, but a closer look made me question whether it actually was. It seemed too short and too flat to be a suspension bridge. After a brief amount of research, I determined that I was right. It was designed to look like a suspension bridge in honor of the first bridge that was there, but wasn't actually a suspension bridge. This made me even happier every time I went downtown this little tidbit of trickery. Then I started doing research for this video. For five years, this was my favorite bridge, the suspension bridge that wasn't a suspension bridge, as I thought of it. Unfortunately for me, this is, most definitely, a suspension bridge. See how it's suspended across the river? Upon further review, it seems that I probably read what I wanted to read to draw my conclusion. The third bridge at this site was not a suspension bridge. This is the fourth. There are many different reasons why this could still be my favorite bridge. The first bridge built across the Mississippi was here, built so people wouldn't have to use a ferry or walk across the ice at a time when there were still two cities across the river from each other. The current bridge was designed after that first bridge, though the potential 150-foot towers proved to be too costly to build. The bridge is considered one bridge, even though there are two separate spans for east and westbound traffic. The bridge even looks pretty good, and is pretty interesting all around even if it isn't the most well-known bridge in Minneapolis. Still, even with the history and the beauty of this site, I think I'll always wish that this bridge was indeed the suspension bridge that wasn't a suspension bridge. I feel like I picked the coldest day I could have to shoot this.